I thought I'd try a new approach this week. Maybe call it creative cinematography, I guess. I wanted you to experience the spring peepers in the richness that sitting in solitude with God in such a setting as this can bring. Remember last week? I was down here at the pond, but, yep, it was too cold, and the little chorus frogs were not singing. Now they are singing in all their splendor. That's what they do in the spring. So, for a few short weeks, perhaps a month at most, we have the awesome privilege of hearing this amazing orchestration that God has created in nature. So just sit, close your eyes if you want, and listen to this awesome symphony. I don't know about you, maybe this isn't your idea of a beautiful sound. Last week, I alluded to the fact that this sound is unique, but at the same time, it's also familiar to me because I recognize it each spring. I wanted you to experience it as well. But maybe this isn't a beautiful sound to you. I connect with God through nature. That's one of the reasons I wanted to leave myself visually out of the video this time. So you could focus on the sound and the beauty and not me. I believe that God's gift of nature in all its glory is one of the most awesome, priceless treasures God blessed us with in creation. I could sit here literally for hours and listen to this nightly symphony. Now, maybe you're different. We had someone stay with us one time and they actually complained that they wished the fool frogs would be quiet so they could sleep. The spring peepers actually kept them awake all night. That individual was accustomed to living in the city, and in their apartment, it was the noise of traffic below that helped them sleep. I couldn't relate. So not only do I hope that this is a special experience for you, a unique one-of-a-kind gift, but also a gift that you can return to, that perhaps you feel drawn to like we do each spring. It's something like this with hearing from God, but not just in the spring. As we conclude the spotlight on Samuel in this 2020 vision series, it's our hope that you've recognized that as believers, there should be within us a holy craving, if you will, to hear from God. It should be a special experience, a unique one-of-a-kind gift, but not in a rare sort of way, but rather in the awe of the Almighty conversing with me, one of his children. While at the same time, it should be familiar as we recognize our Father's voice. This takes spending time with him to know his voice. This takes being quiet to hear his voice. Rather than a rushing in and rushing out on to the next thing approach to life, where God should likely take a number in our hectic day. Perhaps it's time to admit that 2020 vision, clarity, cannot be achieved that way. Faithfully responding or acting on what he has said implies that we've heard with clarity. Critical to clarity is hearing. Critical to hearing is time. As we've shared this brief time down here at the pond, may it serve as a reminder, not only of God's astounding beauty in nature, but of the lessons we learn about hearing from him. God bless you as we seek him and as we look forward to seeing one another again soon. Take care.